Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. He woke up at 6 a.m. and had a shower, as usual. After having breakfast, he went to work. He arrived at work at 8 a.m. to find his office closed. He then returned home disappointed since he realized it wasn't a working day. It was Saturday. In this lesson, we're going to look at the simple past or the past simple is the same. Two things that I want to say about the past simple. The first one that I have already talked about the past simple in different occasions. If you want to watch all those lessons, you may click here. The other thing that I want to tell you is that we use the past simple, the past continuous and the past perfect to tell a story. So if you want to watch a lesson on this, you may click here. So now let's look at the timeline. We see the past simple in the past part of the timeline and uh, is a finished action and you know when it happened. So it's very important that you know when it happened. We use the auxiliary to do in the past, so did. When do we use the auxiliary? Only for negative sentences and interrogative sentences. Let's look at the formulas. We have the subject first, then we have the auxiliary plus not, then the base of the verb, then the object, and then the time expression, if any. An example, he didn't, so he did not, he didn't work, base of the verb to work, last month. Easy. So, interrogative, WH question word, if there is, then the auxiliary, then the subject, then the base of the verb again, and then the time expression, if any. So, in this case, I chose when. When did he work? When did he work? Now, if you want to make a positive sentence, this is what you have to study. The subject, then the regular or irregular verb, and I will get to that in one second, then the object and the, the, the time expression, just like my two examples. He worked. This is a regular verb. I know that because there is a list and you may look at your dictionary to see if it's irregular or regular verb. So in this case, it's a regular verb to work. So he worked last week, regular verb. Another example with an irregular verb to go is he went to Mexico in 2015. So irregular verb. If you want to watch a lesson on regular and irregular verbs, you may click here. So when do we use the past simple or the simple past? For repeated actions that no longer happen. If you want to use it in this case, you need to use always, often, sometimes, usually. Just like my example. I always walked to work when I lived in Canada. When I lived in Canada is the time expression or when, the indicator of time, when I lived in Canada. Then I always, and this is the adjunct always, I always walked to work. So we can use also the uh, used to or would. Now, there is a lesson specifically on used to and would. If you want to watch all those lessons, you may click here. So, I could say the same thing that I said before. I used to walk to work when I lived in Canada. Or, I would walk to work when I lived in Canada. Now, this is the most difficult part of the simple past or the uh, past simple. Like I said before, we use it for a finished action that happened only once in the past. So, 
I have two examples. He stopped smoking yesterday. So in the past, he smoked uh, 25 cigarettes a day. But yesterday, he decided to stop. So it's an action that he decided and he stopped smoking in this case. He stopped smoking yesterday. Another example. She saw me at the, at the fair last week. She saw me at the fair last week. So saw is the past of the verb to see. You can check the list of irregular verbs on your grammar book or on your dictionary. So I know that to see is irregular. So the past of to see is saw. She saw me at the fair last week. Now I'm going to erase this and I'm going to explain the little story that I gave you at the beginning. So we're back with the past simple. We use yesterday, last, last week, last month, in 2015, in 2015, which is the same, yesterday, ago, etc. And obviously when, like when I was in Canada. So don't forget the time expressions. They are essential to understand this tense. So let's look at my little story now. I woke up at 6 a.m. and had a shower as usual. So in this sentence, we have two past tense. So to wake up is irregular. So woke up. Then have, the past of the verb to have is had. So irregular. Then after having breakfast, he went to work. I mentioned before, the verb to go is irregular and the past is went. So he went to work. He arrived at work at 8 a.m. to find his office closed. So arrived is the past, the regular past of the verb to arrive. And then closed here is an adjective, it's not a verb. He then returned home disappointed since he realized it wasn't a working day. So here we have the verb to return is irregular. So returned, ed. Disappointed is an adjective. Realized here is regular. So realized and in American English it would be realized with a Z. So realized is regular. And then the verb to be. It was, it wasn't a working day. It was Saturday. Was is the past of the verb to be. And actually I wanted to mention that the verb to be is particular. And you know that, right? It's an exception, almost always. So here I gave you the three types of sentences. Subject for a negative sentence. Subject plus was or were plus not plus the object. So it wasn't a working day. It wasn't a working day. For interrogative sentence, WH question word if any, then was or where, then we have the subject and then maybe the time expression. Was it fun? Was it fun? And for a positive sentence, subject plus was or where plus object. It was Saturday. It was Saturday. So remember this part, the verb to be doesn't need the auxiliary did. It works by itself. Now, let's recap. In this video, we learned the past simple. We use the auxiliary did for making questions or for negative sentences. We use the past simple for single or repeated actions and you know when they happened. Do not forget to learn the regular and irregular verbs. 
So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You'll find a lesson every week. If you want to share the lesson, you may do so. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.